Dr. Larry Corey, thanks so much for being with us another week and a lot more questions coming out of the news. First, I want to get to this fourth wave potentially of the coronavirus. Are you concerned about a fourth wave? Isn't there enough vaccine out there to kind of prevent another spike from happening? I don't think we're at the point where we could uh, stop a large number of cases. I think we're at a good point with respect to hospitalizations and mortality. I think it's going to continue to sort of go down, but I don't think we've come close to where this virus is going to be slowed down by the, the by the number of people um, vaccinated. Yeah. So the virus appears to continually be mutating more variants out there. We've talked a lot about the variants. Are children more vulnerable to these variants of COVID-19? I think there's we don't really know at this point in time. Yes, children are seem to be getting uh, increasing numbers and the UK variant we know is more transmissible, gives you more cases. How confident are you with the vaccine up against these variants? Well, I'm pretty confident. Uh, uh, last week, we had some really excellent results, uh, very small numbers from the RNA vaccine um, uh, Pfizer against the South African variant. And I'm actually much more confident um, than I was uh, a month ago. We love it when you are optimistic. Thank you. That makes us all feel a little bit better. Uh, Dr. Corey, you've had a lot of questions about spring break. Parents writing in asking, what's a good tip if you're traveling with children? How to keep them most protected? I imagine wearing your masks and doing all the usual social distancing. Yeah, I think it has to be really good common sense. Yes, we're all frustrated, but, um, you know, eating indoors is still not something you should do. Um, uh, especially at this point in time. I mean, eat outdoors, fine. Don't um, collect, you know, 500 people into a pool. Be uncomfortable if that's the case. That's the kind of thing that uh, parents are going to have to do if you want to ride through this last wave. Dr. Corey with the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure to be with you, Jake.